Hello, it's Ian. We're gonna talk about Barbaresco, one of the truly great, great red wines of the world. Barbaresco is a 100% Nebbiolo wine. It's made very close to the city of Alba. In fact, there are four communes to the Barbaresco denomination, and they are Barbaresco, Neve, Treso, and San Rocco Seno Delvio. San Rocco Seno Delvio is a hamlet that was often just referred to as Alba as it sits on the outskirts of the city. But that's not really an intelligent thing to do because San Rocco Seno Delvio has lots of history and lots to offer. In fact, Elvio is the name of Elvio Publio Pertinace, a Roman emperor. So this little town actually gave birth to a Roman emperor. San Rocco Seno Delvio also is an area that has the earliest maturing Barbarescos that are ready to drink relatively early, already five years after the vintage, but certainly will last 10 to 20 years like all the Biolo wines will. They're beautiful, lovely Barbarescos and they're certainly different from the ones of the other three communes. Barbaresco makes somewhat more balanced, powerful, very harmonious wines. Neve can make some of the most powerful, most fragrant of all Barbarescos. And Trezo makes really two kinds of Barbaresco wine, depending on where the grapes grow. The area closest to Barbaresco is lower lying and has richer soils. And those are wines are very similar to the powerful, balanced ones of Barbaresco. And then you have the Trezo, which is higher up, even at 500 meters above sea level. These are the steeliest, most mineral-driven, most acid, strong Barbarescos of all. When we say that Trezo makes the most uh, acid-driven, the most steely Barbarescos of all, it's true, but it's true only in part, because as I say, there are areas closer to Barbaresco uh, where the wines are in fact fleshier and richer. Barbaresco is associated with many very famous crews. These are true Grand Crews. Uh, for example, Azili and Rabaya in the Barbaresco commune are two of Nebbiolo's best sites of all. And when I say Nebbiolo, I mean Barolo too. Uh, but there are others. In uh, Neve, you have the very famous Albizani crew, and a portion of that, Santo Stefano, is where uh, Bruno Giacosa made his world famous wines. And in Trezo, you have uh, vineyards such as Paiore, and Bricco di Trezo, and Rombone which give you world-class wines too. Rombone is exactly that. It is a vineyard closer to Barbaresco where you get fleshier Trezo Barbarescos made, uh, vice versa. Bricco di Trezo is higher up, and there you have much more mineral, higher acid, steely wines. Overall, a great Barbaresco will age forever, 20, 30, 40, 50 years without a problem in a good cellar. It will always remind you of red roses, of minerals, of sweet spices. Tar and licorice are more typical of older Barbarescos. It's just a beautiful, beautiful wine, one of the world's great wines. Lots of very wonderful families making wine there. I really urge you to visit. It's one of the most beautiful wine-growing areas in the world, and the wines are really phenomenal.